Sup, you beautiful bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. Welcome back to the uh, Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold, the premium channel that is free. It is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium, and I'm Philip DeFranco. So let's just jump into it. I'm sorry about that. I just had it in my head. I just, I just had it in my head, and I had to let it, let it out like a beast, <laughs> like the beast inside. Uh, there's a tiny Philip DeFranco that lives inside of all of us <laughs> today. <laughs> We're talking about rappers, specifically this guy, Tom McDonald, who a lot of people have talked about before. Old McDonald had a farm, um, and on that farm, he farmed uh, engagement, uh, hate views, and also, I don't, I don't have a joke. So there's a TikTok making the rounds, um, which is how a lot of these videos start these days. And it's about... Tom McDonald, <laughs> I'm gonna go in a loop. I'm gonna say he had a farm. <laughs> Before we jump into it, I'm gonna do another Philip DeFranco thing and plug my own merch. We've got new sweatshirts. Um, it's like the color block sweatshirt, but black. Um, it, it, it's, so it's just a black sweatshirt, but it's embroidered. It's embroidered and it's nice and there's even a little smiley face. There's also sweatpants, um, there's sweatpants, there's matching sweatpants for the color block sweater, and by popular demand, the color block sweatshirt is back in stock as well. So head on over to Jarvis.store and check those things out while supplies last. I decided I wanna give away, to just my premium viewers, I wanna give away 10 merches. I wanna give away 10, uh, like item, like an item of your choosing. For the merch, all you've gotta do to enter that is, you know, be subscribed here, obviously. Go over to Instagram and like my most recent posts. I'm on Instagram, everybody, and it's time the people know. <sighs> So anyway, white rappers. <laughs> okay, I don't, um, I honestly didn't know this guy from Adam. I just know that some friends of mine have made videos about him in the past and I've somehow managed to avoid his content up until now. But I was made aware of this TikTok <laughs> called My Generation versus Your Generation. So keep in mind that I do not know anything about this man. I have not watched the full video. I've watched the first 30 seconds. I'm already intrigued. My generation got our driver's license at 14, had a job at 16, and moved out at 17. Huh? <laughs> Wait. His generation got their driver's license at 14? I got a driver's permit at like 15. Could you get a driver's license at 14? Had a job at 16 and moved out at 17. Had a job at 16 and moved out at 17? You're still in high school. <laughs> what do you mean? Did your generation not go to school? How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Truly, this man looks, look, I don't want to insult him. Let's just Google how old Tom McDonald is. Ah, 34 years old. So he's not <laughs> He's not from the 1800s. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. In fact, some may say that he's not that old at all. <laughs> and he was a child not that long ago. <laughs> he keeps he's talking about the olden days, like um, like he's about to retire. He's, he's probably still on his parents' insurance. Your generation is still trying to define what a woman is and living in your parents' basement until you're 35. Oh, oh, it's one of those. He's one of those guys. One of those little dudes who's sticking it to the woke left, man. Oh my God, wait, what is the woke left up to? Still trying to define what a woman is. Still trying to define what a woman is. I'm sensing, it's giving transphobia. I'll I'll hear him out. Um, I think that's what he's making a joke about. I don't know like why he keeps acting like he's in like such an old generation. He's not in the generation that, you know, was working on the fucking factory <laughs> at like, 14. So he is also like, I don't know, a victim of the current, uh, the current economy, but understandably so like he's using all the talking points of the boomers who are like millennials and Gen Z. Why can't they afford houses? Why can't they just work and, you know, buy a house for, of you know, a cold $5 like I could back in my day, uh, but he is a millennial. So it's like, I don't understand where he's coming from because we are in the same generation, him and I. My generation grew up on uncensored everything. Your generation censors everything. My generation grew up on uncensored everything. You know how I know that's a lie? Because the FCC exists. <laughs> it's We didn't have uncensored everything. We had mostly censored stuff. <laughs> There's tons of words you can't say on television. They were like, I. what do you mean? <laughs> I don't, is he, uh, he's talking about censorship, I guess. But the internet 
is largely uncensored. But what I guess this is, is a um, a little dog whistle. Because I guess when he says censorship, he's talking about free speech and how you can't say anything these days because you'll get canceled by cancel culture. Generation shotguns, rode dirt bikes, and went camping for fun. Your generation stares at your phone all day and dances on the internet in your sister's underwear. That's not a generation. I feel like that's less a generational thing and more like a where you grow up thing. Because I didn't do any of that. And I also didn't know anybody. I mean, I knew people who did that, but that's not everyone's experience. I spent my childhood on my Game Boy <laughs> playing Pokemon almost exclusively. Uh, I, I've, n I've never shot a gun in my life and I also don't dance on TikTok. So look at that. We're three-dimensional human beings. But of course, of course, he's got to make the joke. The sister's underwear joke. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. What's he, what's he about? We're still learning. He knew how to make decisions, important ones. Your generation can't even decide which bathroom to use. My generation knew how to make decisions, important ones. Like which shitty tattoo should I get on my face? <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. I was like, does his chin say hug or hog? <laughs> Also, aren't rappers supposed to be cool? The only thing he said so far is get off my lawn. <laughs> Since when are like tatted up pierced rappers? Like back in my day, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Who are you appealing to? I guess hashtag, well, I guess we could look at this wall of hashtags to get a sense of who he's trying to appeal to. Canadian underdogs, Canadian hip hop, Vancouver. He's all about Canada. <laughs> Canada, this is your king. Van City, I prefer Ryan. Ryan Reynolds, thank you very much. Your generation can't even decide which bathroom to use. Your generation can't even decide which bathroom to use. It's like every single time he, it's the transphobia. <laughs> like almost as if that's what he has an issue with about, about this generation. generation wants the truth and the facts, no matter how uncomfortable they are. Oh, you want the truth and the facts, no matter how uncomfortable they are? Your generation wants that? <laughs> Your generation that, that taught that the civil war was about states' rights? <laughs> Your generation that does doesn't teach about America's atrocities abroad. Interesting, because those are some pretty uncomfortable truths that uh, that your generation seems to not want to talk about. Or how about the truth that trans people exist? <laughs> because you seem to have an issue with that. And have always existed. <laughs> and it's not a generational thing. Your generation is so offended that the truth and the facts don't support whatever outlandish bull is floating around in your imagination that you've started labeling everything that you don't agree with as misinformation. It's really interesting to say misinformation <laughs> and then say anyone who disagrees with me would label this as misinformation. <laughs> Oh, that's rich. I think it's really important to establish like what his ground rules are. My generation, your generation. So we expect him to be objective, comfortable with uncomfortable truths. He loves the facts, even though he clearly doesn't because of the transphobia. My generation has two genders. Your generation has 89,347. Isn't the whole idea for like a rock and roll kind of guy like this to like not conform to the status quo? I don't understand why he is like standing <laughs> the existing power structures. It's so weird. You've got all these tattoos and you're rapping, which is, you know, it's about, it's about <laughs> struggle of a community and the expression through art of a socioeconomic situation. Also, why do they always have one joke? I don't understand. Like, it's like always with the, oh my God, there's so many genders. I can't keep up with them. I just don't understand why the like transphobes always have like the same joke because it's not funny to say like a really big number. Oh my God, there's this many genders. Like, is anybody actually laughing at that? Your generation judges people on race, weight, religion, sex, gender, financial standings. Okay, wait. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you just judged a whole generation. You just judged a whole generation by their gender. Did you not just do that? That literally just happened. Well, you, you do that. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Your generation cancels everything you don't agree with. My generation doesn't give a fuck about the things we don't agree with. <laughs> what do you mean? This man just said my generation doesn't give a fuck about the things we don't agree with. And that's why I'm saying this in a <laughs> minute and a half long TikTok of me caring about the things I don't agree with. My generation doesn't give a fuck about the things we don't agree with. Beat it, loser. Says the guy making a whole video about the things that he doesn't agree with. Wait, literally, how can you possibly say that? You beat it, loser. You don't make the video. <laughs> if, that was, if that was your actual belief, don't make the video. It's just so easily, like you can't contra, you've just contradicted yourself. It doesn't make any sense. My generation fights for the right 
to party. Your generation doesn't fight, doesn't like having rights, and doesn't like to party. What the f is wrong with you guys? The Beastie Boy song that he is referencing is two years older than he is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. What do you mean my generation? You're 34. That song is 36 years old. <laughs> you, you didn't have that song growing up. He's like a poser boomer. I don't, how can you, like, you don't belong to that generation. Why are you caping for them so hard? Also, speaking of the Beastie Boys, since he is also a white rapper and maybe idolizes them, they have a history of past apologies for homophobic lyrics and ideals in their music as well well as, you know, sexism and stuff, going so far as to reference the song that he is referencing, going as far as to say, the only thing that upsets me is that we might have reinforced certain values of some people in our audience when our own values were actually totally different, Michael Diamond later observed. There were tons of guys singing along to fight for your right who were oblivious to the fact that it was a total goof on them, which... <laughs> <laughs> kind of seems like this guy is maybe oblivious to that fact. I don't know. He also wasn't born for that song, so I don't know why he is acting like it was from his generation. My generation is going to be able to handle the new music video that I'm dropping on Friday. Your generation is going to have a f***ing meltdown. Oh, okay. So it's a ad for his music. I'm not going to listen to that. <laughs> if this is how you're promoting it, then this is bait. And I'm not gonna take it. Uh, if you're watching this, it became a video. Thanks for doing that. I'll catch you on the flippy floppy. Stay gold, everybody. Stay gold.